come back to Debo. So he Let's asked talk about the sanctity of Debo. The sanctity of Debo. John Lynch asked nicely for us not to ask about Debo. Then we asked 17 Debo questions. <laughs> After listening to what he said about Debo, basically that um, he's too good to move, but no one's off limits. Do you think the have you changed your mind? Do you think the 49ers will trade Debo? You have said previously that they will that they will not. They are not going to trade Debo. Iggy, they're going to work it out. Now, they are the front office is so inept. They're going to work it out in spite of themselves. The biggest opti- obstacle to working it out is John Lynch and the and the front office. Having said that, you can't let a talent like that go. You can't even if they give him two first round picks, it's not as good as Debo Samuel. Mm. This guy is is one of the elite players in the league. You can't let him go. So I'm saying he will be on the roster for the opening game. Uh, I'm willing to bet. And I'm saying that the Niners will do it in spite of themselves. (laughs) I want to bet against you here. I really do. I like betting against you. It's fun. And I'm trying to find an angle to disagree with you here, but I I can't. I don't think that John Lynch has it in him to trade Debo Samuel. I think he's made it pretty clear that you would have to tra- you'd have to trade, you would have to win the trade. You'd have to give up too much. And I don't think teams are going to do that. And um I mean, it's the same thing he's doing with Jimmy Garoppolo. That's his nature. So, do I think they'll trade Debo on Thursday? No, even though I think they probably should. And I, I don't know what they think is going to happen here. Uh, like, like, for example, explain this logic to me. This is John Lynch's logic. Hey, Debo, you know, you only had one great season and you get hurt sometimes. We don't want to pay you $30 million a year. We think what's fair is slightly below market rate until you prove. So like 22 million, it's like, that's a lot. So I, I think below the top tier is what we're going to offer you. But in a trade, we're going to ask for two first round picks because you're elite. You know what I'm saying? Like, isn't that? Not consistent. It's not consistent. The, uh, this is a very confused uh, front office. Yeah. Um, you believe he will be on the team? I do. I think what's okay. happening. Oh, so go ahead. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. but you did say you think they should trade him. Why? I do. Why? Because, because uh, I don't think the Niners realize what Debo could do. I mean, not having Debo, it would hurt. If he holds out, it would hurt him, but it would also hurt the 49ers. They would have a losing season. I think what's happening to the NBA is uh, what happened to what's happened to the NFL is what happened to the NBA. It's becoming a player's league. When I was growing up, it was an owner's league. Players had no leverage. They didn't have guaranteed contracts. They couldn't do moves like this. You see it all the time in the NBA. But now as the, as the cap's going up, you see every year wide receivers are getting more guaranteed money. They're getting quarterback money. I don't think teams are going to be able to pull these power plays with players in the future as much. And I think you're seeing kind of like a generational gap. The Niners are old school. That's how they've been doing it for 20 years. They give you the low ball offer at first. They sweat you out. You have to, you know, suffer through Parag. And at the end of it, you get a contract. But players like Debo aren't going to do that anymore. And I think if they think that Debo is the only one that's going to have a problem with them, they're going to be surprised that this is going to keep happening in the future. Do you think if they don't give Debo an offer he likes, he will sit out the season? I do. Well, what he'll do is he'll play just enough to show that he's still good and then get hurt and sit, and sit out. They do this all the time in the NBA. If a player is really a star and making a lot of money and he doesn't want to be in some particular market, he'll just sit out. He'll ask a trade. And the players have all the power in the NBA. You, you could like it or not. But once players start making 30, 40 million dollars a year and it's mostly guaranteed, it's players league. Those guys have the power. And you see how NBA uh, teams cater to them. I mean, the Niners, uh, the, the, the Warriors were so happy. They were they walked on eggshells around Kevin Durant, right? We're so happy to have him. And if he wants to be here, great. And if he wants to leave, great. And we're just that's how teams are going to start talking to quarterbacks and wide receivers in the next five years because you're paying them that much money. And the Niners are kind of stuck in 2004. And I think it's just a, a, a power struggle. Like Debo wants to do things on his terms. We don't work that way around here. Well, maybe you didn't used to, but you might have to if you want to have players like him on your team. Otherwise, you could just keep trading all star wide receivers. I don't know. I don't know. The, the Niners uh, have themselves a dilemma. Now, again, I don't know what they offered him. Yeah. It you seems know, like it just, they didn't they didn't offer him anything. They maybe talked initial terms, and it was clear like they they were not going to get close to, to uh, what Debo was asking, seems like. And we don't know because those conversations are sanctified. Sanctified. But there's also things like, let's say the Niners just uh, disregard Debo's trade request. Well, he has a very 
very powerful agent who's part of a very powerful agency. And if they feel, if they go to war with that agency, then the Niners might not be able to sign their free agents uh, during the off season. The agents can say, you know, don't, you might not want to go to the 49ers. They're going to penny pinch you to death. And we, ha- these are the kind of things that happen. I feel like these players have more leverage than you think about. Maybe I, I could be wrong. I'll say one final thing about this Debo stuff, then we can move on. I understand why Debo feels the Niners are lowballing him. Again, I don't know the number because they're sanctified, but <laughs> I assume they're offering him many, many, many millions of dollars. Yes. Many millions of dollars. Yes. It's not like he's working on the line at Ford. No. He's flipping burgers. You know what I mean? It's not like yeah. that. So I don't have any emotional uh, involvement with what's, what's going on with him. One way or another, he's going to be rich beyond his his dreams, um, anybody's. So let him work it out. It's their problem. I have no I have no stake in it. I have yeah, no I don't care. involvement in it at all. Um, you know, they ought to be able to work it out. And what's more, again, I think they're going to work it out. And let me leave it like this. If you ever want to bet on this, I'm open to it. OK, OK, OK. I can find a bet here. Um, work it out. That means that Debo is going to sign an extension with the 49ers this offseason. I don't think he will. Let's bet on that. Okay, fair enough. Okay. I, he, he, they may keep him against his will. He may play a few games. I don't think he'll sign an extension with the 49ers. I think he's going to force his way out one way or another. Okay, so uh, we have two bets. We have uh, um, Jimmy, I say Jimmy will not be on the roster game one. You say he will, and it's a $35 Beaujolais. And this we're saying, I'm saying he will sign an extension. You're saying he won't. What are we betting? You name it. A nice bottle of wine. <laughs> okay. To, to be determined. To be determined. Yes. But this is the Debo bet. I, I do not think Debo is going to sign. I think he uh, is. I think the Niners are trying to call his bluff, and I don't think he's bluffing. I don't okay. think he's bluffing. So no extension for Debo. That's the bet. Teddy says, Grant, I have a trade Debo and Jimmy Garoppolo for Kyle Pitts, the tight end I wanted him to draft last year. I don't think they should trade Debo and Jimmy Garoppolo together. And also, neither of us think that Debo Samuel's getting traded. So there's that. Carmelo says, just got a high uh, Papa Cone. Happy to just got on to say hi, Papa Cone. Happy to see you, says Carmelo. Thank you Lewis. so much. D Wood 7300 says, Niner fans, this is not DeBartolo's regime. Winning is not the bottom line. Oh, we're going to talk a about pretty interesting comment. Yeah, it is a pretty interesting comment. Uh, the coach says, the man, the myth, the legend. It's so good to see you, Mr. Cone. Iggy, it's been a while. Miss you, miss you, coach. Can't wait to catch up on the next Cone phone. All the best to the family. Thank you for the 50. I was about to do a, a shout out to you and say, where has the coach gone? So I'm glad that Thanks, you're back. Coach.